All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we are down here in the Bahia Honda and West Summerlin Key area in the Florida Keys. And last night I crashed in the truck, but not before getting on some absolute studs in the dark while bucktailing. And um, my body is so full of adrenaline right now, even though I'm probably going on like two and a half, three hours of sleep. And I'm not gonna launch the kayak just quite yet. I want to, but it's a little windy. So I'm thinking we should do some wade fishing. So I'm gonna throw in the chesty, grab like a light inshore rod and uh, just start plugging away in some shallow water waters. So uh, let's go see what we can find. All right, well, we're starting our morning off with a little Nature Valley granola bar. tide looks like it's all the way up uh, but I'm not sure because it's my first time here but I don't see any water lines along the mangroves or on the rocks oh there's some bait right there let's try and launch a cast right along these mangroves and boulders oh that's gotta be a fish right there or weeds <laughs> snagged weeds here we got foul hooked or something All right, well, we tried for about 30 minutes in that first spot, and that was on the northern side of the island, and uh, we didn't get any bites, but did see some bait fish activity, which was good. But uh, what we're gonna try now is go fish some more aggressive conditions on the south side of this little island where the wind is blowing up against, and maybe those more aggressive conditions will be blowing bait in, blowing fish in, and uh, might pose a better opportunity to catch something. All right, well, this looks pretty good over here. Oh, that no, wasn't a fish, that was the bottom. I switched over to a Rapala, thinking maybe there'll be some Barracuda over here that'll jump on this. There's something, fish on. Casting right up along the wall. What do we got? Some type of snapper here. Mangrove, possibly. If you know the name, comment below. All right, sweet little start. He must have been hiding out right under this wall. It must be overhung a little bit. Hmm, all right, no other bites along this wall. And I did find another spot back on the north side where we started this morning that uh, looks pretty juicy. So we're gonna go check that out. <laughs> a little bit of a tight squeeze, but uh, another seawall to fish here. Looks pretty good. We've also got these electrical uh, wire pilings. There's something near that. That's some good structure. A lot deeper here. No way, there's a hammerhead swimming right there. Like, probably about a 14-footer. And it looks like fish just swam to the left of him. Maybe he's chasing the fish. That was pretty cool, except we didn't catch anything. Some kind of fish just cruised here. It almost kind of looked like a bonefish. I think that might have been a bonefish. You know what, we're gonna take off the Rapala and we're gonna try putting on just a little tiny voodoo shrimp. So for those of you that don't know, I put my little voodoos in the Berkeley Gulp pouches just to give them a little extra scent. So hopefully that little bite-sized morsel 
will be enough to entice any fish that are cruising in this ultra clear water. And if that was a bonefish that we saw, that would be absolutely amazing if we could catch our first ever bonefish. There's something. Fish on. On the little voodoo shrimp. I don't know what it is, but it's a fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Heck yeah. Came out of nowhere. Just working the little current break behind that piling. Oh yeah, looks like a jack. A decent sized one too. He's got a follower. Fish can just pull. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> no, it's not a jack uh, corral, it's some other kind of jack. You guys might be able to tell me what kind it is. It is a gorgeous fish, though. Look at that. Whew. That is a beautiful fish right there. Let's just pop out that little voodoo shrimp. Get him back nice and quick. There he goes. <laughs> that was so fun. And a total surprise. I love it when it happens like that. And he had a, uh, a follower. <laughs> Sorry, a <laughs> fly just flew in my mouth. <laughs> But uh, so if, there, if there's enough, more than one fish, we should be able to throw back, throw back out there. Maybe we can get another one. <clears throat> so all I was doing there is casting that little shrimp out by that piling, letting it sink and glide down towards the bottom, go out with the outgoing current, and just giving it a couple jigs, causing it to jump forward and pulsate. And that fish just slammed it after the jig on the pause. Oh, just spotted another one. There he is, another one, a little bit smaller one. Boom. All right, really sweet. We're getting on a little bite here. <laughs> I'm so curious what these fish are, but they're feisty, they pull hard. Oh, there he goes. And they are just super fun to catch. All right, well, our little bite died off, so uh, I'm dying of thirst, I need a drink. And uh, my other hat actually fell into the drink, that's why I'm wearing a different hat now. And uh, we're gonna go back to the truck though, and hop in and probably head to another similar area and see if we can get on another similar bite. And then after that, uh, I might have to go find myself a nice place to take a midday nap. Island looks pretty good and we switched out the stick that we were using this morning because this rod had a longer leader with the same voodoo shrimp and then I'm also packing a little bit heavier setup with 40 pound fluoro and this x wrap just to offer up a larger presentation and something I could fish in deeper water if we spot some bigger fish. Looks like we've got some type of little bait sitting right by this piling. All right, we took about 12 casts. Doesn't look like anybody's home, so we're gonna keep on moving. All right, looks like we got some deeper water right here, so we're gonna put down the voodoo shrimp and try tossing around the rapala for a little bit. Pretty slow over here. I'm seeing a bunch of bait along this wall, but just not a whole lot of predatory fish. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting some bites. Oh, oh, there's a massive school of snapper that just came out from the pilings. Oh, just had another hit. There's one. Got him. Real tiny snapper. There's another one. All right, well, I think it's about time to make a game-changing decision. Not a whole lot going on, so we're gonna probably go find some food, and I think then launch the kayak or put the wading shoes on and try and fish a flat or do both, but uh, definitely gonna switch it up for this afternoon. I decided to come to this flat on the south side of Ohio Key, and oh man, this water feels amazing right now. And I guess we're just gonna start wading out and kind of see what we can see. I'm only gonna probably give it a couple more hours because I'm getting really, really tired. So hopefully in that time, we can find something to catch. The main channel is out towards that way. You can kind of see the, like, the white caps from the current going against the wind. Still got a little bit of outgoing tide, it seems. And I did some reading and heard that this flat could be good when the water gets real low. It'll give you, you know, gives you good access to the channel and then as well as the entire flat. Oh, fish on. Don't know what that was, but it was a fish. Huh. Got some kind of shark cruising right at me here. Oh, he went for the he went for the little voodoo shrimp. So what I'm hoping for up on this flat would be some jacks, and then in the best case scenario, some bonefish or permit, which I've never caught before. But I think that there's a possibility that there could be some in this area. All right. Well, we skunked on that first flat, so I came to the other side of the island here, and this is our last ditch effort to get one or two more bites. There's something right there. What do we got? Oh, it's a little cuda. Whew. Already some better action here on this flat versus the other one. All right, well, I think that is about it. I am beat, it's almost five o'clock, so I fished a lot longer today without taking a nap than I thought I would, but uh, I just had a really fun time uh, exploring around some new waters, and uh, I mean, like, just look at this scenery out that we got here. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and we didn't catch a whole lot of big fish but we caught uh, enough fish to make it interesting today so hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a like and subscribe and from here on out I'm not really sure if I'm gonna stay down here in the Keys for one or two more days but I am gonna fish tonight to try and get on some big snook or tarpon and uh, I'm gonna try and film I guess but uh, typically filming at night it's really hard and difficult to do especially when you're solo so um, I can't promise anything whether or not I'm gonna upload a video but uh, thanks for watching and like always, live to fish, fish to live. That was something big right there. Dang it, man. Or is he swimming towards me? Whoa, my gosh. What just happened there? Oh, what the heck? Oh my God, he's gonna take the line off the reel. Oh, I gotta slow him down. What? 